Good afternoon to the press corps. Thank you for attending this briefing this afternoon. We are here to update the public on the Department of Immigration's next phase of immigration reform. The government recognizes the importance of including every member of our community in the decision-making process. To that end, we are asking for your assistance in providing information to assist us in making informed decisions on immigration policies that affect Bermudians. Before I go into the details, I would like to uh, thank and acknowledge the Chief Immigration Officer, Dr. Didat Ming, for coming here this afternoon. In government speech from the throne, we pledge to make our immigration laws better reflect our mandate of putting Bermudians first. This includes simplifying issues around Bermudian, Bermudian status for mixed status families. To this end, the Department of Immigration is requesting the public's assistance in collecting data on the number of mixed status families in Bermuda. Mixed status families can be described as a family where one or both parents has Bermudian status or holds a permanent residency certificate whilst one or more of their children has neither a permanent residency certificate nor Bermuda status. Mixed status families can also be described as a family where a spouse has Bermudian status or holds Bermudian, excuse me, a permanent resident certificate while the other spouse has neither Bermudian status or a permanent residence certificate. If your family structure fits the description or of, excuse me, if your family structure fits the description of a mixed status family and you are able to assist us in providing information, we encourage you to attend the Cedar Bridge Academy Gymnasium on June 27th between 5.30 p.m. and 8 p.m. Following this, data collection will continue here at the Ministry of National Security located at the, on the third floor in Global House on Church Street. Those dates are from the 28th of June until the 12th of July between the hours of 8 p.m. and 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. All persons are required to present a valid form of photo identification. For questions, pre please email jscott at gov.bm. That email address is, again is jscott at gov.bm or call 297-7819. That number again is 297-7819. In addition to addressing the issue of mixed status families in Bermuda, the Department of Immigration is working on many other initiatives that will address long-standing and sensitive immigration issues. Government will keep the public updated on the developments and everything that is involved, and we will be periodically requesting your feedback uh, using the government's forum on www.forum.gov.bm. The public can also keep abreast of the information and announcements by downloading the Tree Frog app that is available free on the Apple and Google Play stores. Thank you. All right, mem members of the media, we will now be taking questions. Uh, if, you'd like to if you have a question, just raise your hand and I'll bring you the mic to use. Minister, first of all, um, we haven't heard anything new apart from we haven't heard anything new apart from the fact that government is going to be collecting data on mixed status families. What progress has been made on immigration reform? The purpose of this interview, Mr. Moreno, is that we have made it clear that this legislative uh, session we will be dealing with mixed status families. In order for us to go to the next stage, and we will have the debate in Parliament and discuss this before Parliament is prorogued in July. What we want to do right now is we want to, we want to firm up these numbers. And so this is simply a process of getting all the mixed status families in Bermuda. If you fall in the category of mixed status families, we want you to go and say, well, listen, this is my family. This is there's three of us in our household. Or there are four of us in our household. Get the key data. So when we are making the decision, we know exactly how many people we're talking about, and we know exactly who the key people are. We're doing immigration reform in tranches at this specific stage and for the purpose of this press conference we're highlighting the need for us to get the specific numbers surrounding mixed status families what other aspects of immigration reform has the government addressed so far 
um, Mr. Moreno, we have looked at a number of other uh, aspects of it. First of all, we looked at the, at the process of complaints. So when people come in not understanding how to make a complaint, if there are people that are working illegally, that has been looked at. The process in the part of uh, comprehensive immigration reform that we're working on now is we're looking at the actual policy process. How do we make the, the process more efficient? We have received um, money from uh, the business community. They have invested in the process and the procedure part. So looking at how the department works, the efficiencies, the inefficiencies, how things are streamlined. The next part of the process is looking at closed and open categories. Bermudians are saying that we're, we're in Bermuda and we want to get the opportunities to work. There are parts and jobs that were in closed categories. Should we put them in open? Should they, they go to restricted? That information is being collated and that information will be presented to the public at the later stage. This stage that we're looking at, which is a very important stage, is the mixed status phase. There are a number of people that have do not have their immigration status regularized. The government wants to make sure that, as promised, that that is looked at in this parliamentary year. There are other key elements, Gary, that are being worked on, but that they will not come as a part of this uh, parliamentary session. The key part of this, and we must, we must highlight, when regularizing the immigration process, is that Bermudians want a place of primacy in their own country. And we want to make sure that everything that we do reflect that ethos of putting Bermudians first. We've had the opportunity to consult in a number of phases. And in each phase, we've looked at what are the key things that we need to work on. The thing that we're working on at this particular junction are the mixed status families. Can you say what the order of priority is? I cannot. Any further questions? Good afternoon, sir. I'd be remiss if I didn't ask about, we hear continuing from the pressure group on the missile pathways to reform, mm -hmm. and from the business community, they want to know what's going to happen in terms of shoring up the rights of, uh, I guess, long-term residents. So, I guess, as well, how, how do you balance that with putting the meetings first? So, so and, 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 and that, is, that is a part of that which we are doing. We have a bipartisan immigration reform group. And we're looking at all of these things in tandem. To be honest, we met today and we're looking at the nuances on, on how do we evolve this. But what we have in this parliamentary year is looking at mixed status families. But let's not be confused. In this country, there are a number of people that are out of work. There are a number of people that are struggling to make ends meet in Bermuda. It is our goal to make sure that any legislation, that everything that we do keeps in the forefront Bermudians having a place of primacy in their country. There are elements of it that we're looking at, and we're looking at mixed status families, and that's what we believe the focus is on, the, on, on this uh, particular occasion. Okay, any further questions from the media? No, no clue at all as to how many mixed status families there are. It is, it is improper for me to give you that number right now. We have a clear number. We have d um, done some research. We believe that this is an opportunity for us to delve in that a, li a little further. We have, over the years, we've done a number, a good bit of research on this, um, Gary, but we believe that this is an opportunity for us right now to get right down to the heart of it and, and, and look at this number again. This matter has to be discussed. So this matter was discussed in Parliament, excuse me, in Cabinet. This, ma this matter will be, will be de debated in the House. I want to give everyone as much information as possible so they have all of the information uh, 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 in front of them so they're not opining or guessing. They have the facts, the figures, the numbers right in front of them, sir. You just stated that government has, has the figures. I, I said that there are, let me, let me to be clear, that over the years, a good bit of research has been done around the numbers. What I want to do as the minister is have the uh, fresh eyes since December of this year, I want to make sure that I have the opportunity to make sure that these numbers are as close to what we have as possible. So rather than just go with what we, what we thought, I said, listen, I count it not robbery to say, if you're a mixed status family, come to um, Cedar Bridge. Let us get these numbers again. Let us look at this one more time. Let's put all of these things in our computer system. And so what this allows us to do, this allows us to be a little more scientific now. So you, Gary, you person or Mr. And Mrs. Mixed Status Family, you come to the Barclay, excuse me, you come to the Cedar Bridge Academy and you sit and you're able to put all of that information in a computer. Now we have two boys, one girl, we have their ages, we understand what the circumstances are around us and we have a concrete number. As you see, we've, we've put a period of two weeks. It understand, it allows us to get specific data mining and information that allows us to have a lot better numbers, our understanding of the demographic that we heretofore do not have, sir. Sir. Minister, is it a concern perhaps that people in this position might not want to be in a public forum um, 
they're not going to be in a public forum. It's as if, as anything else. If you went to get a, if you went to get your passport, you would. If you went to get your passport, you will muster at um, the Department of Immigration. You will go and you get the form and you fill out the form. If you if you wanted to go get your driver's license, you'll go to TCD. You'll stand in line. You get a form. Well, sir, that is no different. This is an opportunity for us to do this in in the bright sunshine of public scrutiny, and this is an opportunity for us to get the key information. There is nothing clandestine about it. There is nothing to be fearful of. This is simply an information gathering exercise. So taking back off of what oh, John no. just asked. Get upset, minister, Never will I get upset. Um, piggy, to piggyback on what you just said, to ensure people's privacy, why not do something, or do have an online survey? Because we are able to check their IDs. We're able to make sure that these are the right person. There is nothing clandestine about it. You will, excuse me, there is nothing that will be publicly facing about it. You will not be sticking your hand up in the room and giving this information. You'll be going directly to a clerk uh, in, and giving that information, and they'll put it in the computer, quite similar um, that when you go to TCD, um, you don't go to TCD and, and, and scream out your age or your birth date. You simply give that information to the clerk in front of you. That will be the similar set of circumstances in, in, in this equation, sir. I guess just lastly, if people are uncomfortable, they can come directly to the ministry itself? Absolutely. So we will have um, on, um, on the days commencing, oh, um, on the days commencing the 28th of June, we, from 12 until 4, we will have our, the, the clerks in our office will have a private room where you can sit in and you can give that information in there, and that, that will be open from the, from the 28th of June until July 12th. Are you taking questions on the prison situation? I will take questions on anything, sir. The, are we any closer to seeing a resolution of the situation that exists between the Department of Corrections and government? I know that it's gone to arbitration. And so if you know it's gone to arbitration, you will know that this thing, that, that all the key matters are now being discussed with the appropriate people. We believe that it remains a work in progress. There are issues by both sides that have been, that have been highlighted. And we believe that they'll be at the table soon and, and they'll be able to grapple, deal with, and come to a solution. The, the, the key points for us to highlight is that we believe in our, in our offices of correction, their safety, their health, is most important to the government. We're also concerned about the health and safety of our inmates. Now we have a balancing act, um, Gary. We want to make sure that the prison, keeping with the mandate, we now have a maintenance plan. The maintenance plan for the prison has been a work in progress for a long period of time. And so the next question, and I will preempt it, is the question around around the falling in of the ceiling. Well, that is something that was regrettable. We have had the opportunity now to have people from Works and Engineering go and look at it to fix the leak and now we are getting contractors to come and to look at it and to make and and to make a a, a, a request a, a rfi request for information and get the rfp out uh, and and make sure that we can get somebody in in the not distant future to fix it and so when you look at the the maintenance plan the maintenance plan is ongoing and it's in the hands of works and engineering and these are some things that we're working on um on on, on an aggressive basis it is unfortunate that with the telephone system going down um, and with the roof going in, it, it, it seems like all forces are converging against the work that we are doing. But we understand that sometimes you uh, uh, have difficult sets of circumstances. It's our responsibility uh, to keep working through them. But the main point I would like to share um, with the listening audience is that we understand the difficult sets of circumstances that our, our corrections officers work in. We understand that the building is an older building. We have a maintenance plan in place, and we need to continue to work with the updates. We need to continue to work with engineering to make sure that all of the outstanding issues are resolved. You, again, you, 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 you confirm that the matter has gone to arbitration, but surely as the minister, you are being kept abreast of, of, of development. So there, there are two types, right? So the issues, the outstanding issues were the issues of G-E-H-I and the wage, the, the challenges around the wage. That is with the arbitrator that is outside of my remit, as, as I'm sure you're aware. The issues around the maintenance part, that remains a work in progress. And so we have a list of the maintenance issues, and on a, on a, on a, on a regular basis we are looking at those issues. Okay, where are we with this? Where are we with that? Okay, how, how soon can we work with that? Meeting with the Minister of Responsibility for Works and Engineering and, and looking at that and looking how we can do it. Again, when we read on a TNN that there was a collapse in the, in the, in the ceiling, everyone is immediately uh, uh, concerned because they have their loved ones there because of the safety of, 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 of the members of Westgate, and we get that. And that is a responsibility for us to ensure that we work the plan. We cannot be uh, uh, overly uh, uh, excised about what has tra transpired. We understand this is a problem. We have a solution. Let's continue to work the plan.
on another note, I know it's early days yet. I see you have on the set day. Any message for the St. George's supporters? I simply want to say that um, Somerset, we have a, a great work to do, and we are looking forward to getting the job done um, at the appropriate time. All the way.